Hello and welcome to Leeds Today's Lunchtime Bulletin. I am Mama Jani. First of all, breaking news, we're receiving reports that there has been a fresh case of swine flu at another West Yorkshire school. At the moment, the reports are unconfirmed but have come from a reliable source. We'll have more news on that in our program this afternoon. Yorkshire's teachers face being suspended needlessly when allegations of misconduct are made. That's according to a report by a committee of MPs released today. The committee's chairman is Huddersfield MP Barry Sherman. He says there is a fine balance to be struck between the rights of children and teachers. Dave Edwards reports. Teachers' unions say just 5% of all allegations of misconduct result in a charge. That means 19 out of every 20 could be unfounded. Today's report says some teachers' careers are ruined by false allegations of abuse or violence and asks the government to look again at whether they should be given anonymity until complaints have been proved. Education Leeds, the company responsible for all the city's schools, says children's welfare is their top priority. It concerns me that one out of 20, one child who makes an allegation out of every 20, has been abused by a member of staff. That gives me great cause for concern. And I, I'm, I have to say, I'm proud to say, I'm proud to say, that isn't the situation in Leeds. In Leeds we've got really good staff working in our schools, we've got good schools. The committee has advised schools to give staff training on how to investigate the allegations and make sure teachers have access to support. The government says it will consider the report carefully. Five incidents of sexual harassment of young girls have been reported in a town in Yorkshire. Helen Burke is at the scene. Females here in Bramley are living in fear as two men in a white van pile the streets. Five girls aged between 11 and 21 have all been approached by the men in the last three days. One of the incidents happened here on Swinow Road on Sunday. The men have made sexually explicit suggestions to all the girls and tried to get them into the van, but luckily they all managed to escape. The men have been described as white males, one aged mid-30s and the other mid-40s. Although police have not yet managed to arrest anyone in connection with the incidents, they are warning the young females in the area to be extra vigilant and avoid going out at night alone. This is Helen Burke from Leeds Today, here in Bramley. Yorkshire has been criticised today over its diagnosing of the virus hepatitis C. New research has shown the number of cases in the region is growing faster than anywhere else in England. Hepatitis C is a blood-borne virus that predominantly infects cells of the liver where it can cause inflammation and significant damage. Now, every day it seems we hear a different story about swine flu. It's spreading, it's getting worse, it's getting better. And so many different sources of information, it can be quite hard to understand exactly how worried we should be. The current hype appears to have sent people in a bit of a panic, which isn't being helped by today's new criticisms of the government's handling of the pandemic. It doesn't look like swine flu will be coming down anytime soon. So Jen Greaves is here to offer you some practical advice about how to reduce your chance of catching it and whether any symptoms you may have are cause for worry. It's clear that the number of cases of swine flu in the UK is still rising and with such a wealth of information about the subject, some people are worrying without cause. Phone calls to doctors about the pandemic have increased by 50% in the last week alone. It can be hard to know whether there's cause to worry or not, and while there's no need to reach for the face mask, here's some information that might help make things just a little bit clearer. Swine flu is a disease in pigs. The new human virus is highly contagious and spreads in the same way as ordinary colds or flu. If someone coughs or sneezes and doesn't cover it, the droplets can spread about one metre. Swine flu is infectious up to five days after symptoms start, and those diagnosed with the virus should self-isolate themselves until they are completely better. You can reduce but not eliminate the risk of catching swine flu by always covering your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing, disposing of dirty tissues promptly and safely, and maintaining basic standards of hygiene such as washing your hands frequently. 
If you suspect you may have flu, you can check your symptoms online before contacting your local GP. Stay at home if you do think you're infected, but the vast majority of people should go about their normal activities. Ultimately, don't panic. Flu viruses are very common. This is Jen Greaves for Leeds Today. And that's all from the Lunchtime News team. You can catch more of today's stories in our main programme at 4.30. We'll see you then.